Hey folks, welcome back to the channels. Happy Catty Crypto here. So I've got a really important update to get out to you folks. Uh, there's a statement circulating around at the moment and it is in regards to the end of a meeting today. So <clears throat> without further ado, let's dive straight into it. And the statement is as follows. Uh, as per Zada, we had a meeting with TFL today, slight smile. So I think they might be starting to get in touch. They want to offer us an upgrade that will make staking faster and allow us to unlock the IBC channels. It's baby steps at the moment, but we are just building trust. But it's a good thing for both V1 and V2 if we can start to share IP and work together. It also gives us more credibility. We also have a meeting Monday with a crypto fund I cannot disclose at the moment. So things are going in the right direction. I can't disclose anymore because I don't want to jump the gun or risk scaring them off. And this is totally understandable, but what everybody needs to take away from this is this is actually a really, really huge step. Now, if you don't know this or you haven't noticed this, uh, Duquan has been pretty active on Twitter, which is unusual at this time. In fact, they actually put this up and it's not like their um, second coin they created is doing um, good. Uh, we've seen uh, Luna Classic go up and make a small breakout. Same with USTC. And Bitcoin's just been going up in a steady uh, uptrend, which is good to see because we don't want Bitcoin to get too ahead of itself. See that MACD get overextended and in turn find ourselves um, recorrecting um, a lot harsher than we normally would. So, yeah, going back to this statement now, it really does give Terra Rebels so much more credibility. And like I keep saying to people, both of these coins exist, OK? Both the main net and the classic net, they both exist side by side with one another. And it's super important that we always remember that. Um, there's so many sides to this. And what it's all about is building bridges between these chains and actually each chain benefiting from one another and helping the other one to, oh, oh you, you're down a little bit there, right? Come on, come on, come huddle with us and we'll, uh, we'll sort it out. And just seeing that these small little baby steps, like they've stated, um, with this whole software upgrade to help get staking and the IBC channels re-enabled quicker uh, is absolutely great because I've been in talks with someone who pretty much is um, helping me uh, reach the goal for the Luna Classic Let It Burn channel. And this video is going out on both channels because um, I feel it's quite important. Um, and it's for the Luna Classic Let It Burn channel to pretty much get put on steroids and become an active validator. Now, Speaking with someone else and looking at the reward system on uh, the Luna 2 network where you can stake and things like that. Uh, so how it would work is if you staked with the Luna Classic Let It Burn channel, you would receive 13.5% in commission on whatever you have staked. And we would receive 1.5% as the active validator. And then we would then use that to buy Luna Classic and burn it. But because you get rewarded, I'm sure, with Luna Classic, you would not need to which is really good because then it's less fees and then we can send it directly to burn from our Terra station wallet designed for that channel uh, or sorry not designed but created um, is a better uh, term of an analogy so yeah it's really really good that um, like I said we always try and attempt to become better um, if there's better ways that we can burn that we're going to do that as simple as that now there's a lot of people saying no sorry maybe but I need more info and um pretty much just hear us out in this video. Um, we have no gain. The Lunar Classic Letter Burn channel makes no profit that benefits myself. The only thing that I get from this channel is more taxes every year and then more stress with my taxes. It puts me into a higher tax bracket overall, which is, I mean, it's just crazy. The UK tax system's really, really harsh as it is. And um, yeah, I really just do this for the greater good of the community. I don't know any other YouTubers that would have outright just said, um, I'm going to burn the first three months of my channel's revenue with Luna Classic and um, then create another channel. The only other person I know to have done something like this is Matthew Perry with his Shib Let It Burn channel, which is what I based the Luna Classic Let It Burn channel off. But the idea to start up our own burn initiative came from Lunkdow because I looked at what they was doing and I just thought, wow, if they can do something like this, then we should be able to do something like this. And um, I've put up again today this website that's created by a community member. He's really, really good and really nifty with um, websites. So he's really good at creating stuff like this. And it just goes to show really um, 
who the top burners are and how much of an effect they are actually happen having. And uh, yes, we are on there, but they're very, very minute. They were like test burns for uh, different things during the blockchain halt and stuff like that. So looking at Lunkdao, as you can see, they're the pink salmon color. They pretty much hold burn dominance as nearly the top burner. In my opinion, they're the top community burner because this other one here is actually MEXC, which is a CEX. So they're not really a community member, are they? Um, and it was never forever. It was only until uh, the 26th of last month. It was only ever for a month. So it's not going to be long before you see someone like Lunkdow take over as number one burner. Metaglory is going to be burning for the next 12 days. They've burned 1 million Lunk for the past two days every day. And uh, they'll be doing that for the next 12 days, meaning that they're going to burn another 12 million Lunk. They also will be implementing the 1.2% burn tax uh, off chain in their chilled play to earn game, which is coming out later towards the end of the year uh, or the start of 2023, which is really, really good. So don't forget that. Don't forget that these, there's so many awesome projects that are um, trying to make a difference um, compared to some of these. Now, there was a rug pull recently with a coin that claimed that they're going to do all these amazing things and all they need to do is get 10,000 subscribers on Twitter. Um, and they would be able to burn a, a crazy amount of uh, Luna Classic and they were in exchange and all this kind of crazy stuff. And it's just like, there's so many people just that will quite happily rip you folks off. And it, we see it every day. Uh, we see it with all the other channels and stuff like that. And as into regards of my video about people plagiarizing my work, it's not that I care that they're doing it. What What annoys me is they do it and then they either twist it or they don't fully understand it because they didn't actually do that length work. So they portray it in a weird light and um, it just creates a lot of min misinformation. But yeah, I'm totally up for anybody sharing my work and covering my work and stuff like that. They don't even have to credit me. I, I really don't care as long as it's getting out there and going viral or whatever, so to speak. Not that we have gone viral at all. That's really hard to do something like that. But yeah. You catch the drift like I, I really don't care as long as we're getting the information out but just make sure you're portraying it correctly you're not misrelaying it misinforming other people and therefore creating more misinformation uh for the masses it's just something that we don't want to see link to that website in the description folks let me know what you think of this tweet okay let me know what you think about this tweet duquan's put up uh it's friday it's coming up to seven o'clock in the evening um, my back's really killing, but I'll be keeping up the content nonstop. It's going to be really interesting. Like I said, the way that we started this video and now I just want you guys to close your eyes and think about two around two months ago when we was during this capitulation event and all of the negative things that are happening. It seems like we're, we're coming out of the, um, we're coming out of whatever it was that we were in and we're starting to actually get things done and, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a really, really, really interesting few weeks to see how this all unfolds. So do stay tuned, updating you folks as it unfolds, as always, and keeping you in the loop. And uh, yeah, just stay factually informed, folks. That's all I can ask of you. And uh, it's not financial advice. Beware of scammers, doppelgangers, anybody pretending to be me or the Happy Gatty Crypto channel. You can find me in the OG Lunatics Discord, the Terror Rebels Discord, and I have my own Telegram broadcaster. And you can catch me on Twitter. DM me there if you like. And I'm I'm always about to answer questions for people where I can. Um, some messages do go into my spam box. So just, um, yeah, let me know if your message isn't getting through on one of my um, tweets or on a YouTube, this YouTube video, and I'll be sure to get back to you. And folks, like I said, remember, regardless of people's outlooks and their stances or the walk of life that you come from or he said, she said, and all this kind of stuff. We all just need to work towards getting these bridges built and um, staying huddled and staying together and staying tightly packed at all times. And um, yeah, there are times when things do need to be said and there's times when we just need to knuckle down and get things done. And we've already been through all that kind of stuff and we'll have to keep going through that kind of stuff because that's totally normal. That's how things work. That's how governance works. And we're going to have probably things that are put up in the future and people are like, no way, and vote it down. So I have no doubt that will be coming. But yeah, like I said, folks, just stay safe out there, okay? And uh, like I was saying, catch you in the next one.